put crushed deer bone. Ben Hoxbergen is the staff archaeologist at Redstone Arsenal. What they do is take the limestone, crush it. He invited fourth grade teachers from Huntsville like City Schools here for some hands-on learning. Play. And then when you fire it, uh, all those little limestone pieces get really soft. Topics included cultural development throughout prehistory. I personally think that they were using them for stone boiling. Flint napping, which is the making of stone tools. And you just hit the edge of it. And spear throwing. The teachers learned some lessons you can't get from books. It's harder than it looks, basically. <laughs> it's hard. They had to have been very patient people, I think, to sit down and make these tools. I think in our society we want things so fast, and then they just had to have been wired differently. So sitting down and doing the flint napping, I think. Scrapers are so easy to make. And getting a product that was worthy at the end of the flint napping was probably the most challenging. Lightly. Flint napping is definitely... Uh, uh, it takes a lot of practice, and you know I, I saw some people experimenting with different techniques, and that's what you have to do. And I... Hawksbergen's goal is to instill a respect for the resources and help people understand the value of them. Russell says even with a science degree, she learned a lot. I didn't have this hands-on knowledge um, that I've taken from college, so he brought it uh, and made it real for us. So we'll take that and then be able to use that with the kids um, in November when we teach it to them. By teaching the teachers, Hawksburg and accomplishes what he could not do alone. James Williams, Huntsville, Alabama.